Question time for Zany. This question, here you go, Chimpos. It comes from Chimpos. The question is, are twins related or are they the same person twice? <laughs> <laughs> the context is, sometimes they even look identical. The second born is just a copy. That's a Ooh. that's a statement. That's a statement right there. Oh, okay. So you know, like the whole idea of human error. Okay. How nothing nothing can be perfect. Perfection mm-hmm. does not exist. Okay. So what if, what if in a perfect universe, twins were the exact same person? They are clones manifest from the beginning of time, but because of human error, they are just slightly different, and something changed in order to make them just ever so slightly different. And those and those. Nature nurture properties just grow so exponentially until you get two different people when they're adults. I got a very important question for you, Will. So you're trying to tell me right now, in theory, maybe the second one of the twin set is a clone. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, taking a that, clone. taking that where you know I might, clones can be a thing. Yeah. Okay. Are you now telling me? That the 2000 Disney original film, The Other Me. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't might, finish the title. Might have you actually. The title. Might have, <laughs> it's a 2000 <laughs> fantasy comedy, Disney original, The Other Me. It's <laughs> 96% of people like this movie, Will. <laughs> now, who plays the first. Now, who plays the first kid? <laughs> So, and then who plays the other? So, now, there's this there's this rumor going around that there are not two Lindsay Lohans in the parrot trap. That I is thought this Lin- was... Oh, okay. That is Lindsay Lohan and Lindsay Lohan a second time. But people also believe... No, they closed Lindsay Lohan purely for the film. That was just a fan theory. Let's not get weird. This man who is only known for this film, as far as I know, he clones himself in that film. But what we don't get is that because like he doesn't have a brother on paper, and just like Lindsay Lohan doesn't have a sister on paper. So it's not like oh there are two of them, haha. <laughs> they might be clones, whatever. I think that they legitimately cloned him for this film, and I think that what you told me confirms that Andrew Lawrence, who plays I believe his name was Will Browning, <laughs> I think Andrew Lawrence has a clone out there that is now in the not. Not just hypothetical Disney vault, uh, <laughs> but they just used purely for film. Mm. So now, when they in a hundred years want to remake all these films that they made, they have a clone of this man, Andrew Lawrence, that they can throw back out there. Yeah, they think it's just a big exhibit. You go to Universal Studios and you're like, "What's that?" And it's like, "Oh, that's the that's the commercial ice box." But actually, there's just Walt Disney's head and Andrew Lawrence sitting in a cryogenic freeze chamber. <laughs> He keeps watch over over Walt Disney's head. He's oh, the that's the Disney icebox. Thanks for asking. So I just, something just struck me. I think, yeah. so you know this. All Disney stars, pretty much all of them act, sing and dance. That's like, you have to have that trio to be on a Disney show or film. And then some of them go on to like make music or dance or whatnot. But almost all of them go through some weird phase where they shave off all their hair, do every drug, and basically become Gary Busey for like 10 days and then they're fine and you're like <laughs> you're like how did that happen but also you're fine again okay fine it's to keep them relevant right I think yeah. they legitimately do clone these people so that they still and have that a, is the sickness they still have a pure form Ooh. of them before they've gone through like whatever happens from Disney and I think that the oh, one that's not the clone the cloning chemo sickness I, yes. I think that the one that's not the clone has to live with the fact that they know that they were now cloned and it drives them crazy, but but like only for a little bit because they're like, wait a minute, that's fine, and then they're past it, and that's why they only go through the phase for a little bit. But I think that's why that phase happens. I think someone cloned. I mean, or they die. Mm. I mean, sometimes they just die. Zane. The clones are the normal people. The normal people. I mean, uh-huh. sometimes they go through the phase and they just never get out, and it's like, what happened to them? Uh huh. You know. Uh huh. That's that's fine. I'm sorry. Don't like I think I think like Demi Lovato was uh, cloned. Oh, she's good now. Yeah, no, I yeah, think most I think, definitely. I think she was cloned, and like her clone form was on like that, that like five minute show that I think his name was Tony Oliver, was mm-hmm. on. That was a part yeah. of that that group that made that song. Maybe you class, and maybe you sick. 
I never yeah. met a girl like you ever till we met. The worst, the worst line in any song ever. Um, so essentially, I think like the clone Demi Lovato was on that, was on Sunny with a Chance, and then this one went on to date what's his name, like Wilmer Valderrama or something. Whoever plays Handy Manny and Fez on that '70s show. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know, Zane, my favorite part about this cloning is it can be a really nice learning experience. It's kind of like an extreme introspective moment for a lot of these actors who who Disney himself decides we need them in the vault but um, for future use. Um, but when Demi saw her her second form of herself, she realized how much of a bully she was, and that's why she went on. She's like, man, I suck. And that's why she decided to do her anti-bullying campaign, even though she was a big old bully as a teen. <laughs> I think... Man, I'm such a bully. Look at my cl- other me. We cl- yes. Ah, it's, it's, I think that that movie was their only way. I think that they had a contractual obligation that they have to admit in somehow in Disney original films. They have to admit their faults. And that was their way of admitting, yeah, we clone people. Just like how they admitted um, before anybody was... like Before it was a big thing in 2019. That, what was that movie with motocross and the girl that like... Pretended to be a guy so that she could uh, be a motocross. Oh I know what you're talking about. I have no idea. They invented that. They invented that. <laughs> they invented that. They invented, what are you talking about? They invented allowing people to choose their gender. User. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> them and Amanda Bynes in She's the yeah, Man. Yeah, them and She's the Man. Exactly. Uh, we said that at the same time. Good. I hope that gets brought up in, in, in post. Um. Anyways. Uh, Man, good stuff. Now I want to just dig into what every actor has learned from their cloning days and how they've moved forward. And also, let's let's go find the vault, buddy. Let's go to Universal Studios and do a couple of legals, huh? I think that sounds great. I think, you know what? I don't mind if they put me behind bars for a split sec just to like admit that I got too close to the to the truth. And also to see Walt's head. Walt's big cold head. I've been told Walt has a big cold head. It's very large because the cells grow when you freeze. When you freeze, right? It's, it was probably regular head before. Do you think the first Except thing he'll say when he, he do is it, huh? no longer frozen is "I hate Jews" or "Where's my body"? 